Hello, let's model this sledgehammer head. I'll guide myself with this drawing. There is a side view, 66 millimeters square. A top view, you see that um, hole or that slot of the handle. 11 millimeters radius, distance between centers of circle 28, length 164. And then we have a view, a detailed view of that is tilted 45 degrees. There is a straight line 24 millimeters goes in a tangent circle 28 at a distance of 12 from the outer edge. And there is a um, type of a chamfer, 6 millimeters at 45 degrees. I left the fillers of 3 millimeters out of these drawings, but you can see them here in the isometric drawing. Okay. Now let's start a uh, part file here, part studio. Start a sketch on that front plane with a sander rectangle. Make these equal, shortcut E. Give them the dimension, 66. And go into the extrude. Now, the total distance is 146, and that's a symmetrical body. So I'll just make it with the 82 millimeters, half of that. All right. I'll hide those planes to make it more clean and give our parts some appearance, some different kind of a dark tone here, something like that, all right? Now, let's make that slot on top of half, half of that slot. Start a sketch on that face. Again, let's take that center rectangle here. And a circle here, make it a little wider. With U, I project that edge. With M, I cut out that because there's a radius dimension of 11 millimeters. And 28 divided by 2, 14, all right. One and again um, an extrude remove through wall All right now we need a plane for that tilted view 45 degrees we can define that by that edge and that one and start a sketch on that plane, projecting that edge, that edge, and maybe that edge. We will use that later for an axis. Accept that. Maybe hide that plane and, okay, there is one way of drawing in this. There is a viewing state, which is called translucent makes it nicer to to work. I go back into the sketch and start that one line here. Go then into the tangent command. Go up here. Define the distance. Those 12 millimeters. The radius, 
28, and that distance here is 24. All right. We can define that chamfer, that rotated um, profile in this sketch with a line command. I'll go over here, somewhere over here. That angle, all right, is 45 degrees. And the distance between these two is 6. All right. Accept that. Now, again, we want to extrude. Go into the command. Now, we need to get that from this sketch, sketch number three, right? And the way to do that, you go over that region, make a right click, go to select other, and there you see face, the first face of sketch three. Then again, to the right of that, select other, and that part of the sketch. Make that symmetric, remove, and not blind, but through all. Accept that. All right, let's keep that sketch maybe visible. Huh? Now, let's um, rotate that feature. Go into circular pattern, feature mode, click on some surface in that feature, and axis four times, 360 degrees, apply per instance, accept that. All right, so we get that. Now, um, let's fill it, the whole thing, at this moment. Let's go in the top view. Shift F goes into fill it, three millimeters. And I will click from the right to the left. Make that window. Accept that. Go into isometric view. And all right, we don't want that um, fillet right here, right? But they'll disappear with a revolute command. I'll go into the command, pick that sketch, and again, right click, select other face of sketch three. Revolve axis, again, that one. Remove, accept that. Um, hide that sketch. Go back into shaded mode. And let's make those two faces a little lighter. Pick that, shift, pick that one. Right click, add it, add appearance to two faces. And let's take that one. That's supposed to be the lightest we can. And then go into mirror. Take the whole part, mirror plane. We will add to the existing, existing body. Accept that, and there we have it, the finished slash hammer head. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and thanks for watching.